The largest shipbuilding company in Taiwan, CSBC, has announced salary cuts for 60 of its top managers, following losses of 5.8 billion NT sustained last fiscal year. The company aims to turn its books around through diversifying its operations, eyeing military shipbuilding and offshore wind projects. These two giant gantry cranes weigh 350 tons each and are the heaviest in Taiwan. Ten years ago, their owner, CSBC, was earning $3 billion NT dollars a year. But with a downturn in the global shipbuilding market, last year it sustained losses of $5.8 billion NT. CSBC President Zheng Wenlong will take a 20% salary cut next year, and other senior managers will follow suit. About 60 people have accepted voluntary salary cuts. The amount of money involved is not that great, about $1 million NT. The important thing is that all our managers are exemplifying their commitment to reforming the company. The salaries of the rest of CSBC's more than 3,000 staff will not be affected, but the firm's business strategies are getting a revamp. We've built 129 vessels for the armed forces and the Coast Guard. Our warship manufacture and repair zone will mean that after we build these ships, when they're in active service and need to come back to a shipyard for repair, they'll return to this zone, where we'll provide the highest standard of logistical support. CSBC is optimistic that the industry may perk up in 2019. By 2025, they aim to make equal revenues between the three sectors of commercial shipping, military submarines, and offshore wind.